How's it going guys, what are we doing and welcome to a brand new video tutorial from iPinterest. Today we got a very special tutorial about how you can become a better developer. So if you're into programming, either a beginner or a newbie to a programmer who got who just got in into the programming world and all the development world or you just got your first job or if you are also an experienced developer, this might be in help to you. So I'm gonna discover some tips and tricks to become a better developer as well as my own thoughts on getting a better as software development. So if you're looking for a better software development tips and tricks, those are my own thoughts as I've worked quite a lot with code and quite a lot with teams and try to manage code uh, between a lot of people. So I'm just gonna be giving you my own personal thoughts on how you can be getting better on software development. So. Um, first things first, you should always create as many projects as you could. So creating many projects from simple to complex projects is going to help you a lot achieve quite a lot of things and also go through a lot of examples on how you can create stuff. Uh, you can learn more about your used programming language either if you are for example into web development, you can learn how web development is being done uh, from front end to back end and how you can do comp from simple things. Of course, you start up with a simple task like creating a tic-tac-toe project into creating a very complex weather application or something like that. So all of those steps are gonna help you a lot and gonna just improve your problem solving uh, thoughts and your problem solving skills and how you can get from one point from a plan into a realizable application that gets you know working uh, as much as I could uh, probably think about. So this is actually a really important step and a lot of people says that you should always create complex projects. This is actually quite wrong. So for new pro programmers and new beginners, they should always start from a simple task, following it with a really complex task so they can get as much as they could uh, with you know creating a project and of course they can get or improve uh, their problem solving skills so they get much better once they finish or try to land a job. Um, planning, of course, matter for the second tip that I can give you guys, which is, of course, you always need to plan for your code. Uh, before starting any new project, you can start by planning your way in. You simply use unified modern language, or is called UML. And for a lot of developers, they quietly use UML for a quiet, uh, which is the latest version. So for creating different diagrams and for use cases to classes and states, so they can easily manage their work. Uh, diagram and of course once they try to um, like realize like a piece of code or create like a new feature or something they always try to plan it because it's gonna be much much easier for you to create from a simple diagram from a like an, an, a diagram that you see uh, that you can put on your second monitor then you can look at and you can code it's gonna be much easier than you put in your, all of the plans inside of your uh, head it's gonna be much much easier than you just putting them on paper or using your mails I've said before and it's gonna be like allowing you to create uh, projects faster and bugs free I can't say bugs free because of course because it's gonna be less bugs and more efficient code and of course the time of realization of this project that you're trying to do is gonna be less with planning and of course versus without planning is gonna take quite some time because everything inside is your head improve and enhance your code so always look for tips or always look for ways to make your code look much better no i don't mean actually nicer of course nicer helps um you reading the code helps your co-works reading the code but improving it i mean by the performance making it bug free and make it much much readable and readable is actually a really important step to make and really important step as a developer you need to take um, actually, you need to learn how you make your code much better because everyone can write code, but not everyone can write a good code, a, a readable code that can you know you can share it with people and people can just look at it for like about I don't know two minutes or something and they can quietly figure out what this code is doing, how they can edit the code and how they can fix the bug on the code. So this is actually the good programmer or the good developer. They instantly can create a good code. And of course, you write first the code, then you can review the code, then you can rewrite or you can edit the code and make it much, much better. And this is how you simply make or improve your code. And this is gonna help, of course, 
the functionality of your code, make it much more performance friendly, and for sure, it's just gonna help your coworkers, your you know teammates. I don't know. That's you're working in a company. If you share the code with them, they can easily identify what is going on behind the scenes and what the code does. And of course, using comments can be uh, really handy. But what I mean by comments, you know, you can't actually comment everything. So the code can be self comments and alongside some simple comments that can help uh, the reader or the developers of each step, what you're doing with the codes and every single step or, or the instructions, what they are actually meant to be. Four, always test your code. So code testing is a really important step that a lot of developers actually intend to ignore. Uh, I still can't quite figure out why, but they just find it a little bit intimidating once they try to test their code, of course, write their test. And actually, this is really cool. Uh, or funny meme that I like, if you write test, test passes, but then code fails. And of course, this is really, really confusing because when it comes to running test, test should pass and of course the code should run, but otherwise test always fails and of course uh, bad things happen. So test or testing your code before deployment, before uh, publishing, if you're like, I don't know, you're actually a release uh, or maintain an open source GitHub project, you always test your code before pushing it or submit a pull request. So this is actually a really important step. You can use testing frameworks. There's a lot of them right now. And as I find, for example, Jest for JavaScript, and you can use uh, the Jest framework as well for React applications, which is, by the way, this slide is made using React, which is the spectacle framework, which is really great, a really, really awesome. Stack Overflow is your home. So don't be frightened for asking questions. Of course, you see a lot of questions in the Stack Overflow because uh, for sometimes you look for a question and you suddenly you can't find that question because nobody else has thought about it or nobody else has got into the step where you are actually or you know got the problem that you have so specifically you can easily go ahead and just ask the questions it's not a like means you're a bad programmer or you don't know now asking questions is a really important step on your way to becoming a better developer because it's going to help uh, a lot of things like you can it can help you know how you can ask questions and of course you can learn from people that are experienced in the domain by trying to uh, figure out what is going on behind the scenes and of course you can play the role of the master and look for questions concerning your beloved framework and of course or library you will get a better by helping other developers so if you know anything about a framework or something and you're experienced about it you can just look into uh, like ask question and there's millions of them in stock overflow of course and you try to answer some of them and it's going to just make you a much better developer by helping people or just by posting your uh, answers is going to help a lot of people and of course they're going to give you an experience on a specific framework or library that you love contribute to open source so a lot of people intend to ignore open source or think of open source as this geek um, guy who tries to maintain or create open source now open source is a really great step of becoming a better developer so if you're trying to like learn a new uh, programming language or get better into a framework for example react you can just go into just through github's uh, react page of course and you can just submit your first pull request it can be a simple uh, one-line code that can help improve that or just a bug fix or you can even go ahead and like submit issues about a specific framework or library that can help you understand very or how this library works and you can discuss that with the contributors of this project they can give you ideas of things how it works and of course you can get much much better by reading source code of other people's and this is actually a really step of contributing to open source so contributing to open source is a really great idea and a lot of people should intend to try to contribute to open source especially github gonna make you a much much better and experienced uh experienced actually developer in your domain finding a team so finding a team is a really important step in your career of course you start up lonely you start up like as a freelancer you learn some frameworks and eventually you need to find a team because working or contributing or collaborating in a team with all the developers that share the same attitude about a project that you're creating is much better than creating it on your own in in terms of motivation it's going to just motivate you a lot when you try to work with other developers try to fix bugs together try to like look for features together or even just discuss the project um you know features and discuss the 
uh, project instructions that how you can implement a specific feature, how you can fix a bug, and how you can go forward with that team or something like that. It's gonna be like giving you a much better understanding how things work, especially learning like you know uh, plans and how you can plan with a team and how you cooperate with a team or work with the other developer is gonna make you a much much better person by just finding a team. So finding a team is a really step in your career of becoming a better developer. So without a team, you still don't exactly know how things get work. Even though you think that you got everything and you know a lot of things and you know how you to code and you created like a lot of things by your own, but still finding a team and collaborating on like huge projects or a scaled uh, application is gonna be giving you a much, much understanding of how things get in with work. And eventually, the last step that a lot of people intend to, um, you know, get foolish about and just ignore is enjoy coding. So coding is actually a skill, and after all, a hobby. Of course, you need to be a geek, not quite a geek, but you need to love coding in order to get better at coding. You can't actually get better at something that you don't like or you just do for the money, because coding isn't just money. I know a lot of people intend to move from their uh, like current careers into coding, if, like for example, they are designer and it says, okay, there's coding in there. Uh, it makes a lot of money and a lot of, I see a lot of careers getting forward and stuff like that. So just, they change their career for the sake of money. And that's not quite good. They can, they can make money, but they still need to enjoy coding to get into a better developer, a better programmer. So coding is actually a hobby after all, or pretty much if you're a person who wants to get into programming, make sure you first, when you try to like type code with some music in your hand, uh, you probably can eventually get a much better developer just by enjoying how coding can get to you and how you can just type code can make you feel much, much better. So your gift of programming is not just for helping others get things done easily. It's for your own enjoyment. So enjoyment is a really step on web developments or any other like um, field of developments that you can probably find. But enjoy coding is a really, really awesome step. So there's actually the eighth step that I would like to explain about it, guys, how to get into a much, a much better developer and much experienced developer. Uh, this is actually, I've got only eight steps. So if you just follow up that, if you have like ads, uh, other steps or other tips and tricks, um, or thoughts about how you can get much better developer, you can post them in the comments below. I'll be very happy to check them out. But those actually were my own thoughts. So disclaimer, I'm not saying those actually they're absolute and they can make you uh, a geek or a hero at development from, from, from zero in one day or two days. No, those are actually just my own thoughts, what I tried and how I tried to become a better developer. And of course, a lot of people share the same attitude as me uh, throughout these thoughts and how they think. So that was actually guys, thank you guys for watching. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed the video tutorial after all. And yeah, make sure to share out your own thoughts on how you can get it better development or better coding if you would like to. But after all, thank you guys for watching. I've said again, if you got anything to say, put it in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And see you guys all in the next video tutorials.